Now to how the rising cost of living is affecting grassroots sport. We're going to be looking at different aspects of this throughout the week. And tonight we'll see how it's pushing a sports and social club in Manchester to the brink of closure. Abraham Moss Warriors looks after hundreds of young people and families in the north of the city. But with costs spiralling, the club fears that the next 12 months could be its last. Something that for the local community is unthinkable. Abraham Moss Warriors is a special club. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's like a life for us. <laughs> a club that is about much more than football. This sport, has a, it's a, they have got a massive impact on my family. Since it was set up more than 20 years ago, Abraham Moss has been the heart and soul of its community in North Manchester, helping families in Cheatham and Crumpsall, areas that can be tough places to grow up in. Crime and social deprivation are high. To keep my kids away and safe from the, safe from the street, building their future in our community instead of spoiling their future and getting into bad habits. Like home here is like the best area I've been in my life. And I really like it here because we go so go on trips. There are lots of other sports and activities on offer, as well as homework clubs and play schemes. And for those that need it, food parcels, warm clothing and festive treats. As you can imagine, for youngsters like these, it's so important to have a, a safe space like this to play sport, to, to play football. And of course, the benefits aren't just physical, they're connected to mental health and, and overall well-being. But there's no doubt that for this local community, for this club, finding the money to keep it going is increasingly difficult. June Kelly is the club's founder and driving force. Everything's going up, but, but obviously we understand that our parents can't afford to, to, do, to, pay, to pay that. We only used to charge £2.50 a week. If everything's going up, it's made it really difficult, so we've actually reduced things to just a pound. Even then, not all the families can afford to do that. Costs have gone up by about 20% in the last 12 months. Hiring and heating the sports hall alone costs about £500 a week, and the consequences are stark. Last winter, the Warriors looked after and coached about 450 young people. Twelve months later, they've had to tell more than 200 youngsters they can't come. With daily football sessions, now only weekly, and the number of teams in local leagues down from 16 last season to just one. It's difficult, but, um, you know, if anybody has got any financial problem, they can come without paying in this club. Everybody's basically struggling to, to meet the basic needs. Despite that, local families have spent hours transforming this local park into a space they can be proud of. It brings, like, happiness to us because, like, when we come to this club, we get to go to lots of places and have, like, lots of opportunities. It plays a, a massive part in me, like, being who I am. What would it be like if this wasn't here? Uh, as I told you, you know, we can't keep them in the house. Oh, in a 24 7. So they're going to end up on the street or somewhere else. But with running costs in danger of running unsustainably high, there is a growing fear that next winter could be a challenge too far. This time next year, I, I don't think we'll be in business. I think we will probably have to have shut. Really? Honestly, I, you, I don't you think. You think what? You think the club I, might fall? I, I generally do. That must be heartbreaking for you to think that that's a possibility. Yeah, it is, because like I said, we've given our heart and soul into making this club. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to kind of think that we've come so far, but it's, it's just becoming more and uh, more difficult to, to actually sustain the club, if I'm being honest. Fingers crossed we'll find a way. Fingers crossed. A feeling that will be echoed across the whole community. <laughs> I do hope she does, Rog. June, she's got 90 volunteers. They work so hard, and you see the work they do.